Everybody, and thank you for joining us tonight. Bridget has the night off. I'm Sam Spangler. The smoke is finally clearing on Maui after a series of brush fires today. And officials do believe they were no active Mother Nature. In all, fire officials say there were six fires, and authorities are now working to find out who was behind them. Chrissy Tomashiro has more in a story that's new at nine. Hey, look at that helicopter go. From above? Oh, you can see it. See it? Oh, yeah. And on the ground, Maui firefighters battling against wind and brush to contain several fires Thursday. The blazes sparking suspicions for officials. Well, at this point, because of the locations of the fire, fires themselves being all over the island in different regions, the police department as well as the fire department suspects someone is intentionally setting up. Maui police say there were two homes evacuated on Kamaili Street. The flames also keeping residents busy. Jillian Vickers spent the day securing her pig sanctuary in the middle of the multiple fires. I got a call saying the fire started again and I should get down there. And when I was driving down, I could see all the fires kind of lined up. It was really scary. The blazes come as all of Maui County and leeward portions of Hawaii Island are seeing severe drought conditions. The island of Maui has been in uh, had has had a small area under D3 conditions for a couple of weeks now, two or three weeks. So it's it's already been pretty bad. The uh, lower elevations of the of the uh, Kohala Mountains on the leeward side actually went to D4, so they have exceptional drought. That's the worst drought category. Lawmakers are working with agencies to secure hot spots on the Valley Isle as experts predict the dry season to get worse. We've been working closely with the Department of Land and Natural Resources uh, for a lot of the state lands, um, making sure that there's adequate fire breaks. So they've been spending a lot of time making sure that that's um, in place. We, we're working with private landowners because we do have a lot of private land here on Maui um, where a lot of the brush fires can spread. As for some Maui residents, they're sleeping on edge tonight. I'm going to spend the night again because we have really strong winds and the chance of the fire starting up again is is high. While officials say at least one of the fires is contained, Mayor Victorino says the work isn't done just yet. Whoever the individual individuals, um, we are diligently looking into this matter and trying to see if we can apprehend them before they hurt somebody. Christy Thomas, Shiro, K2 News, working for Hawaii.